Hi guys, this is AC Gamer back with another video on Brandos 2. Now in today's video what I want to do is talk a little bit about a touchy subject and that is regarding the dupe system. So from the title, I probably titled it, um, is the dupe system in this game paid to win? Now the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because I've always wanted to talk about it actually but I never really you know decided to pull the trigger on the video however what reminded me about this topic was because i went on reddit quite recently and i did see someone actually bring up the topic so i thought why not just talk about it on my channel as well go over my opinion on the dupe system go over my opinion on whether i believe the dupe system is paid to win now there is one thing we do need to realize and that is many people have different definitions of what and pay to win is now to me generally i believe every single gacha game is paid to win and there's no really any reason to talk about whether a game is paid to win we should mainly mainly focus on how pay to win the game is or how much benefit is this with spending compared to with without spending and uh, how free to play friendly the game is however in general if you ask someone what they believe to pay to win is to me it would be like yeah every gacha gets paid to win like uh you can spend then it's paid to win so someone else it would be like the difference between free to play players and someone who spends lightly or it could be like you can't progress in this game if you don't have this specific character and uh, obviously that shuts down any other team you can use or that like, your progress is hindered if you don't spend in this game and whatnot so like i said there's different definitions to pay to win now with the dupe system in this game it does feel like a lot of the five star characters do need multiple dupes before they are actually useful or viable now i wanted to say that in regards to that i kind of agree i actually do agree now i know this is a touchy subject and i do believe someone down in the comment section is probably gonna hate my takes but i do think yes having certain characters where they do need dupes to become viable does kind of make it feel a little bit um, pay to win however there was one thing we need to realize and that is because that is the fact that we don't actually need five star characters to play the game we can clear every single content in this game by building four star and three star characters we can get the dupes required and you can easily use those characters now does that make the game a lot less free to play friendly or does that make the game a lot more free to play friendly i do believe it makes it a lot more free to play friendly so yes in hindsight if we can't use the five star character with pull well we can actually use the four star characters the three star characters and we can actually clear content a lot more faster so you will actually go into the game there's a bunch of videos i've also made talking about four stars and five and uh, four stars and three star characters that are viable without uh actually with dupes obviously you just keep summoning eventually you'll be able to get them to plus five and you can easily clear content and the thing is it doesn't feel shitty when you use those three star and four star characters because they are actually very very strong very comparable with some of the five star characters we have in game now if you go to, over to other games where yes some four star characters are viable you can still feel a clear difference between a four star and five star however and that actually makes the game a lot less like be like if someone says to me oh you just play clear the game with four star five star characters four stars and three star characters i would look at them like yeah but i don't want to do that the four star characters look dead the three star characters look dead i have this five star character that looks absolutely awesome but i can't use them in game however in brandos 2 i can't lie the four stars and the three star characters look absolutely amazing and sometimes obviously there is difference with um some five star characters having like um animations but i have the setting on where the animations literally just go on once a day and i don't see the animations for the ultimate era again so i don't really care i care more about completing content in this game so to me in brown dust 2 i actually love using the three stars or four star characters and i actually enjoy that aspect so yes in general some of the five star characters do need dupes however there is some certain five star characters that don't actually require that much du um, dupes for them to be useful like rue for example um, she's a great character without any dupes i still use her very very good um who else doesn't require dupes not you Austin. get out um listless this version specifically you don't even need any dupe for this one to be good um oh no something listless sorry Le less 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 stuff like that i'm butchering the character's name i do apologize and then with this leatrice over here you don't need any dupes for her to be absolutely amazing so yes there is certain five star characters in this game that do not require dupes to um, be good but in general if someone was to ask me 
does this dupe system feel free to play friendly or pay to win i would lean towards the pay to win aspect i can't lie i, I do think that some of the duping in certain five star characters are leaning towards you must summon them multiple copies before they're useful which kind of takes away the idea of summoning for a character unless you're willing to go balls deep on a character is it really worth summoning for that unit that is what many people will be thinking now i do think this doesn't feel that bad in brandos 2 honestly yes certain characters you want to get multiple dudes for the before they can be good however it doesn't feel bad when you actually just you know get one copy of the character right now because eventually yeah off banner luck will come out the game is extremely free to play friendly in terms of how much um, resources the devs give out certain times obviously um so we got to know like a bunch of free summers during these um, summer events that was pretty cool however we did get like a bunch of other characters that released like five no four banners in general and we only got enough to do like 300 or 400 summons i guess in general that's a lot of summons but with the amount of characters we were given uh many people can argue it wasn't enough but i think it was absolutely amazing for them to give us that amount of summon i'm not going to be greedy and ask for more that was absolutely perfect however certain characters you you just want to you know you need dupes you can't actually use certain five star characters without dupes and sometimes you also need multiple costumes which is what this person also noted which yes i do understand you looking at this as a like wow this is completely paid to win but you just have to understand that you can just clear this game ain't hard i ain't gonna lie it ain't hard at the moment you can clear every single content without using any five star character in fact sometimes it's a lot easier without using the five star characters because like you said you do need dupes before they can actually become good or become useful now obviously it sucks if you lack a specific five star character and you can't use them because you don't have dupes so it kind of sucks in that aspect and obviously characters right now that don't have that much costumes can feel lackluster or not even worth using because the rotations can be an issue now obviously when you get a character to plus three with the reduction in sp it makes team building a lot more easier so obviously with certain characters you want to get them to plus three i feel like plus three is the best way to um you know aim at and then you can stop then because that's just perfect for now like perfect um but in general i do think that dupe system in terms of five star character it does free it does feel paid to win and that is something that no one can deny but i do understand that someone in the comment section is probably going to say nah you can use four star five three star characters i said that i literally said that you can use three star four star character but it doesn't take away from the fact that the five star duping system still kind of feels paid to win there are certain characters you don't really need that um you know multiple copies for but in general majority of the five star characters we have especially when they have high sp makes you feel like oh yeah we want to go ahead and get some you know multiple copies of that of that character and it also doesn't help that you can't actually see what happens when you dupe the character up i feel like they said they were going to add a system where we can take a look at characters at plus, you know plus one plus two plus three plus four but they still haven't implemented that so we can't see the difference between having them at base value compared to having them at max value max dupes so it kind of sucks we can't actually see that so hopefully they do add that in the future so in general is the um is the dupe system for five star character does it does it feel paid to win absolutely um but at the end of the day i still enjoy this game i, I think it, the fact that we can still you know use um four star characters three star characters to clear content is nice but at the end of the day i still think a lot of people just want to use five star characters because five star characters have like is it better animations but like i said i can't really notice the difference in terms of like uh four stars and five stars I, I still think all of them just look very very cool obviously it just means that five star characters in general will always get more costumes for themselves so four star characters will eventually will get like outshined because so many five star characters will have different costumes essentially making team building a lot more fun a lot more intricate so yeah maybe right now we can go ahead and click content with four stars and three star characters but i do see that changing a little bit in the future and obviously as we get more free summons you get more dupes you get more i don't know off banner of luck and whatnot eventually you will put in more copies of the character um so yeah i i do think it is a little bit of pay to win system but um in general doesn't really affect much in the grand scheme of the game so in general if a character needs multiple dupes before they can actually be useful 
um does that make it free to play you guys can tell me down in the comment section it's been your boy ac gamer don't forget to like and subscribe stay tuned for more content on brand us 2 it's been your boy ac gamer and i'm out